Hey loves, I wanted to come by just to talk to the people for a little bit because I, I, I have a, a, some things on my mind that I just need to do a brain dump for a second. And I was inspired by watching a young lady and a guy on uh, TikTok Live. As someone who is a creator, I wholeheartedly just feel like sometimes people really don't look at the the craft in itself when we develop our prices and when you think about crafters artists whatever whatever you want to call um whatever you want to call yourself or whatever you want to call people who take the time out to create we are not creating something that is massly produced that is massly produced by people who are underpaid when we are creating our products these are things that we are spending hours to create and not let's let's just take it away from what what we're actually doing with our hands for a second let's just think about every step that goes into this first we get the idea once we get the idea, we put it down on paper or a board or our phone or what, whatever it is that you may use. And when you're writing this thing down, you're right, you're adding in whatever products, materials, ingredients, whatever it is that you need to get to create this product. Now, the young lady that was on the TikTok a lot, she was either starting a blanket or maybe she was starting a bucket hat. I'm not really sure. But she let this guy come in on her TikTok live. And he was just saying how he's met a lot of great people through the TikTok shop. And he's gotten a lot of great products from people who make product, you know, make their own products. And what he was saying was he doesn't mind spending money on products because he realized the time that it takes to, to create these things, the time that it takes into going to go buy the stuff that you need for the project. Whether it's you're taking time to go online to get whatever it is that you need or you're going to the store to get whatever you need. So this includes time, this includes gas, and it also then includes the time that you're taking to make the product. And what they were talking about was how people are quick to go to these high-end stores. I'll say that. They're, they're quick to go to these high-end stores and pay money for the name. However, they, when it comes to handmade items or just a small business where they're, they're making their own products in general outside of you know knitting or sewing it could be soap it could be uh juicing whatever it is that they choose to do the 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 same goes to this but when we're looking at just people who do natural body products or sew or crochet i'm going to use those three for this because the young lady was saying that the same way that they go and spend their money on these so-called luxury items she pointed out that what we do is really a luxury item because we're the ones who created it now keep in mind what i said in the beginning we get the idea we put that idea down on paper we then add in the steps that it's going to take to make this idea come to fruition we then go and get the things that it takes to create this product and, and bring it to life. And we package it up nicely to sell to someone who is going to cherish that item. This in itself, as she, as she had pointed out, she didn't say exactly what I said, but I'm just adding in why this is a luxury product. You go and pay all this money for somebody's name and some of the stuff that you know I have looked at i mean it's nice but then when you look at some of the materials that's involved 
and you find out that those materials are really not worth what you're paying the money for which is why i said you're paying for the name you are paying into and not all but for some you you're paying into those people who are paid pennies to make these cute little items that you're paying thousands of dollars for who can probably not afford to eat not afford to have somewhere to stay but they've made this bag or this these shoes or this clothing that you have paid all this money for meanwhile when you're looking at these small business owners who are laboring themselves to create something that's unique that you're not going to find somewhere else a lot of times people will go and say that's too expensive and i liked what this brother said on the TikTok live because he said instead of just saying it's too expensive just just say that either you're not willing to pay that price for it that either you can't afford it or better yet why don't you try to work something out to do a payment plan and i was like that's the first time i've ever heard somebody say like oh well, why don't you you know work something out to do a payment plan what's wrong with that the young lady has said that she made a product and she made a product for a young lady who had modeled some of her items and when she made the product and the lady asked her how much the product was she told the lady how much the product was i don't she didn't say how much she said the product was or what the product actually was but she said that the lady told her Oh, I didn't expect it to be that much. So the young lady said, well, I'm trying to figure out like how much did you expect it to be? Like, this is something that this lady's pouring hours into, whatever, <laughs> excuse me, whatever it may have been. This is something she's pouring hours into. And she can charge what she believes she's worth. Many of these small business owners, many of these crafters, many of these artists, many of these people who are making things that are bringing joy to someone else is charging what they believe that they're worth. Unlike some of the jobs that most people go to, those jobs are not paying people what they're worth. Meanwhile, when this person who may even have a full-time job is investing time into that full-time job and then getting off work and going to go and possibly buy the materials or the materials whatever it is that they have to do to make something and then they're spending days on on days and hours on top of hours after they get off from this full-time job to make something that is beautiful that they may want to charge three hundred dollars for six hundred dollars for whatever it is that is because all the time that they've invested has bought them to come to say this is what i'm worth this is the price and for those people who are not willing to pay the price that's cool but don't minimize someone's artistry because you don't want to pay them what they believe they're worth when I create my products, I look at it like this. Whoever I created for, they're going to come to the product. So I don't have to sit and worry about the people who aren't buying the product. I'm going to wait for the person who the product was for. Everything happens for a reason. Nothing happens by coincidence. So when you get ideas and you make a product, whatever it is that you feel like you want to charge for that product, that's your product. That is what you chose to create and if people are not willing to pay what it is that you are charging look at it as this is not for them but the person who it's for they, they they're going to be the one to come get it some people often get discouraged because of the negativity that comes from the people who want to minimize their gift so i say all this to say don't let anybody minimize your gift keep doing what you do and everything that you want for yourself, it's going to come to fruition. The products that you want to sell, they're going to move, baby. So keep going. I love you. I wanted to stop by. And as always, love, peace, and many, many blessings. Bye.